Hi, I'm Katie Seals, an undergraduate geoscience student at the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm here today to talk to you about a long-standing question and a solution. The question is, what do we do with our nuclear waste? The answer? Send it to Texas. Nuclear energy is a great way to not contribute to global warming, but it is hampered by public concern about radioactivity. A big challenge is what do we do with our high-level nuclear waste, such as spent fuel rods? There have been several different propositions since we started using nuclear reactors to generate electricity in the late 1950s, including recycling high-level nuclear waste into new fuel rods and burying the waste deep into the ground. Unfortunately, the United States can't figure out how to deal with our high-level nuclear waste. People are concerned about exposure to radiation causing cancer and other health problems. Because of this, spent fuel rods are often stored in large pools of water on the site of nuclear reactors. This is not the best solution for a lot of reasons. We need to figure out a better way to deal with our high-level nuclear waste, and one solution is design a place to store it. A high-level radioactive waste disposal site was proposed in Nevada, but it was given up because of public opposition. A new site is now under consideration in Andrews County, Texas. The proposal is to take sealed casks of radioactive waste and store them on the property. This is designed to be a temporary storage site until a more permanent repository is established. The proposal is now going through a review to determine if the site should be approved or not. There are many requirements that must be fulfilled to construct and operate a high-level nuclear waste facility in the U.S. First, the proposing organization must apply to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or NRC. The NRC is responsible for overseeing all civilian use of nuclear energy in the U.S. The NRC reviews the application and determines if it should be approved or not. The NRC requires that three criteria be satisfied. First is the safety review. The location, design, and operation must all follow NRC guidelines for safety. Next, an environmental review determines if construction, operation, and decommission are safe for the environment. Finally, there are hearings where the community can voice concerns and ask for more explanations. Once these reviews are passed, the NRC will issue a license and construction can begin. As of the beginning of 2021, the NRC has released a draft safety analysis report, a draft environmental review, and held several webinars for public comment. The NRC is projected to finalize the safety review and the environmental impact review by summer 2021. These finalized documents will be the basis for the NRC to decide whether or not to issue a license to Andrews County High-Level Radioactive Waste Facility. Thanks for listening. If you want to learn more, check out the links in the description.